Okay, so think about this for just a second. Do you know somebody that's been arrested? Uh, maybe an acquaintance, a friend, maybe even a family member? Well, chances are your answer is yes, but you might be surprised at just how many young people are arrested. According to research by the American Academy of Pediatrics, nearly one in three people will be arrested by the time they are 23 years old. That's more than 30% of our young people. Well, you know how it is, or at least how it used to be, I guess you might say. You're with your friends, you want to make an impression, you think you're invincible, bulletproof, and then the cops show up. The last thing you or your family need to deal with is court and then an arrest record. So joining us today to help us play it safe this summer is attorney William Hall from Salisbury. Thank you for coming in. Great Appreciate to be here. It. I'm going to hit you right out of the gate. Yeah. Uh, marijuana has been in the headlines for the last several months. And I've personally talked to a lot of people who think marijuana is now legal here on Delmarva. Is it? Absolutely not. That's what's important to remember. It is still illegal to possess marijuana. Okay. Where the confusion comes in, the Maryland legislature passed a new law beginning October the 1st of this year if you're in possession of less than 10 grams of marijuana that will be a civil infraction of a fine only. Okay. But where the legislature messed up on this, the paraphernalia, that is the bag that it's in, the pipe that it's in, right. etc., that is still a criminal offense after October the 1st. So it's not so much the marijuana, but it's what you use to smoke it or contain it Carry and whatnot. It or, yeah. Exactly. How about that? So you need to keep your eyes open for that. So what kind of what kind of punishments then are we looking for when it comes to marijuana use? Sure. Uh, right now, the law in Maryland, if it's under 10 grams of marijuana, it could carry up to 90 days in jail and or a $500 fine. Okay. Anything over 10 grams of marijuana, it could still carry up to a year in jail and or a $1,000 fine. Then if it's in such a quantity to indicate an intent to distribute, mm -hmm. it could carry up to five years in jail. Wow. Okay, another uh, thing that young people are getting into, unfortunately, is alcohol. You see a lot of underage drinking here on Delmarva, don't you? Yeah, absolutely do. With the college students, uh, with the young people in Ocean City and the beaches, uh, you see a lot of these offenses. Uh, people think that they can go out in public with their alcoholic beverages, right. and that too will land you in jail every time. So house parties, you can expect company? Absolutely, especially at the beaches, et cetera, because they will be looking for you. Yeah. Now, if these kids are caught underage drinking, what kind of punishment are they looking at? Uh, they can face up to 90 days in jail and or a $500 fine, and these are criminal offenses mm -hmm. which you have to appear in court, right? and if you don't receive probation before judgment, uh, you can receive a conviction and therefore a criminal record. And it stays. It, yeah, it's on there forever. Wow, so just get ready for that. What so, about the parents? The parents have to be very careful. There are some parents out there that think that their children will be safer by staying home if they host a party. And uh, this has been in recent headlines, uh, you know, over the last couple of years where the parents can be held criminally liable right. for having these parties. And if, Lord forbid, anybody gets hurt, they can also face civil lawsuits. But if they host a party, they can be charged with felonies in all of the states and uh, can face a lot of jail time. Wow. How about that? Now, you know, a lot of people are thinking, you know what, I'm just going to pop open a beer, walk down the boardwalk, or pop open something and, and take a stroll. I'm at the beach, it's okay. It's not, is it? It certainly isn't. And uh, the number of citations issued for open containers at Ocean City during the summertime, they're in the thousands. Wow. Really? You need to think about that. What kind of punishment are you facing if you get busted with that? Um, most of the time, you're looking at a large fine. If you have any kind of previous criminal history, um, there are some judges out there that will put you in jail for it. How about that? All right, so need the bottom smart. line is you just need to think about what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. don't leave your common sense at the bridge. That's what's so important mm -hmm. and so many people think that anything goes on vacation mm -hmm. and it certainly does not. And yeah. it don't. William Hall, thank you so much. Great to be here. Excellent information this afternoon. Now, if you'd like to read more about Attorney William Hall, all you have to do is go to WBOC.com and then click on our picture right there at the top of the page. Well, sometimes kids getting into trouble can spiral, sometimes into a life of crime. 
That's what happened to a lot of men who are behind bars here on Del Marva. Despite their past trouble, they're finding a new purpose in life, and it all has to do with these dogs. How what the inmates are teaching the dogs will provide hope to some of our veterans. And there are plenty of women behind bars as well, or on probation and parole. Uh, many times their families are shaken up quite a bit when mom goes into the criminal justice system. So still to come on Delmarva Live, how one group is helping moms reclaim their lives and their families. But first, you know Delmarva Live's all about community, and that includes your community too. Yes, yeah, there's something going on in your neighborhood. Well, we'd love to hear about it and see photos from that event. Send the information our way along with any pictures you'd like to share. Reach out to us at comments at DelmarvaLife.com or like us on Facebook and share the information there. Delmarva Live, we'll be right back.